Hello there everyone, my name is Mark, and I return with some more Papa Smurf. As you can see he's looking quite dapper today. He found some nice clothes. He found some fancy pants clothes. Look, he's even got double necklaces. He's, he's the next uh, Mr. T. Is that? <laughs> I almost forgot what he was called. Okay, what do I want to do? Oh, return to Maven Blackbriar. Ah, gee, she's far away. Just gonna return with the power of magic. Well, not really. I don't know what the. Answer yourself, sneak. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. Ah, jeez. You can pretend not to hear me all you want. But you, you in down, eh? For the Can I talk to you again? Dirge told me you made it into the guild. You need dirt on anything? I don't to me. Whoa. Hailga. <laughs> now I'm just swimming in the deep. Jeez, how long can you hold your breath? Oh, what? Yes, as usual. What are you doing? Why are you underwater? And can I keep you under there? Ah, oh, jeez. My nice clothes are all sopping wet. Well, honestly, it doesn't look wet. Guess they didn't prepare for that eventuality. Where is she? Where is that chick? Hailga from Hey Arnold. That's right, I just made a reference to that old show with the football head guy. Oh god, no. <laughs> Almost took another swim. Is that the chick I need to talk to? Around somewhere, no. Her name's Maven. About Mara. She has an old lady's name. And I think she is supposed to be kind of old. How old? I don't know. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. Alright. Look at this. An example. Of the differences the was a mistake. <laughs> of, of the species. Because I think. Okay, because Papa Smurf in this game is a dark elf. And this is a fellow dark elf. And he's. He's like the. He's like the. Conan. Well, even Conan the Barbarian isn't that big. He's like the Andre of. Andre the Giant of the Dark Elves. Look at that. He's like the Thor of the Dark World of the MCU. He's like the Thor Ragnarok of Thor Ragnarok. I tell you, that's that's how Thor Ragnarok he is. He's the Thor Ragnarok of Thor Ragnarok. Ah, what a beautiful day. Oh god. <laughs> I'm classing up every place I go to with this fella. Gee. Was I talking to you, Aaron? <laughs> I mean, I know, I know. There's a a Ron, and that's a masculine thing. But a e r i n seems kind of feminine. You look like some Botoxed David Hasselhoff, huh? Or, or wait a second. Do you? Who do you look like? I. You look like that. YouTuber who, who's having some controversy right now. What's his name? Pro Jared. <laughs> yeah, the guy that was sending dick pics. <laughs> Come on, sit on Santa's lap. <laughs> I'll tell you once you sit on Santa's lap, baby. I trust you have good news. <laughs> Everyone's judging Papa Smurf for his sad defense. Well, okay. I trust you he, have good he's, news he's, for he's, me. His fetish isn't Santa. His fetish is being Santa. That's right. I sit on. You have good news for sit me. on Santa's lap. Come on, sit on it. Sit on it. Sit on his lap. Sit on. I trust you have good news for me. I trust you have good news for me. Oh jeez, I'm a lot lower than I thought. Okay, boop. 
She looks like she's staring almost straight ahead, but now she's looking down. That's odd. Jeez, you're you're a sight for for clean eyes. Is that what the opposite of a sight for sore eyes is? <laughs> I don't. How did you become allied with the Thieves Guild? The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. Wait a second. I, I just realized this lady. She looks like. She looks like this lady. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh! They they put this mini driver. In Skyrim. Wow. Skyrim's on toasters and now it's on Mini Driver. And what what does that mean? My gosh, she she genuinely looks a lot like that. Wow. Okay, whatever. Job's finished. Here's the information you requested, Mini Driver. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Yes, I've seen that symbol before. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. A war with me? There's also the matter of your payment. Yeah, that's right. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. I don't know. Iron Sword of Ice? That seems like junk. Ah, oh, God. She's giving me junk. Hmm. Well, it's better than than the one I had before, but still, it's still kind of junk. Damn it, woman! When will you give me something good? Even though I've just met this lady, well, recently at least. Jeez, I gotta drop. I wasn't even in your way, woman. You have some nerve coming back here after what you There's nothing there. Lava. I believe Is that all you had to say? Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one you of idiot. Special drinks, you let me know. My gosh. She's she is mini driver. Oh my gosh. I didn't I never realized you are you have more wrinkles probably, but you are her. And your name is even M. I mean, it starts with an M. I I might be be stretching things, but I don't know. I think I think she looks like that. Her burdens. Oh, I'm. Ah, Jesus. It's like I'm always dealing with nonsense. I'm always dealing with nonsense. What's my next mission, honestly? Return to Brini Alfi. Oh, jeez, look at that. Look at that skill. He's running on nothing. He's running on sunshine. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, did I just make a reference to that? I wanted to ask you about Shodder's dead. Back off. This action's all mine. No room for anyone else in the guild on this one. Do me a favor and drop the debt. Why should I bother? I've already made a bunch of coin off of this shipment, so anything else I squeeze out of them would be a bonus. Oh, wait a second. I see what this is. You want me to cut you in, or you'll wrap me out to bring you. Tell you what, I'll give you a share right now if you forget the whole thing. I forget what I'm... You know what? Papa Smurf's the kind of guy who doesn't care. He just... Or, or wait, is he? I don't know. I don't even remember Shotter. You know what? I'll have to do some research first. Okay, so I've done some research, and it looks like it's nothing too special. I'll. I just want the money. Now you're talking. Oh, if you see Shotter, remind him he still owes me that debt. Huh. I mean, it's not that much, but honestly, Maybe I'll see you the, the actual reward from him is an, an invisibility potion, which is something you can learn to do with magic. Out fighting dragons, and what do I, get? I don't know. You tell me. Ah. 
she was going to, but I left. That's that's how the cookie crumbles. Oh, sneak attack. Well, actually, I'm not gonna. What does she have? Oh, jeez, these are all such low percentages. Wow, I could take a whole bottle. A lot. Well, who detects me? Oh, jeez, <laughs> so inconspicuous. A giant rat. The size of, of... Of most people. Okay, kids. It's the size of, like, a... A six-year-old child. Is it? Where's that rat? Where are you, rat? Jeez. Or is it even bigger than a six-year-old, maybe? Let's see, let's analyze this rat. Well, I don't know how... how? Who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Who are you talking to? Oh god. It seems like people are talking to other people besides me. That's that's not possible. Papa Smurf doesn't believe that that's a thing that can happen. People just want to talk to Papa Smurf. They don't want to talk to, to regular people. Papa Smurf is a living legend, man. He's an icon of the... Of the... I don't know. <laughs> the, the WWE. He's a, he's a wrestler. Ah, uh, jeez, that would be a scary wrestler. He's this this gigantic Smurf. He's this big blue Smurf. That would be a scary thing. Sister. Boom. Jeez, load times on PC are great. I love it. All right then. Where are we going? Hey, hey. I want to talk to you. Now. Who? Who are you? You've you've got a two C. Or wait, never mind. You need something? Be pretty tough. I respect that. Bringing in a lot of coin for the goo. So you. Good too. So you were a. Know if you part. need anything. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah, I guess I have a minute. What do you want? So you were a part of a bandit clan. I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. No. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. But it was always about the killing for them. Well, but not for you. Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. <laughs> ah, jeez. We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. Ah, that's a cool story. No, we usually let them go. I refused to do it. Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Ah, jeez. Luckily, I had met That's... some friends with the clan who immediately ah. sided with me. Nice. They tore each other to pieces. Ah, After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. And Garthek? I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. Okay. Go and pick some fun. Go and pick some fun. I'll go pick some fun. Oh, these are practice chests. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I guess I have a minute. What do you want? I want you to take a swing at me. Don't you know Smurf hides or? Who? Let's practice. Not allowed to do it. He's allowed, but I'm not allowed. Well, maybe it's supposed to be because, because it's. Well, there's mul. Oh, he's. Oh, well, he's a good moonwalker. Ah, oh, Jesus, little freak creeps me out. <laughs> oh my God. This little freak of nature. What did they feed you, pal? It's like they fed you radioactive. You found something. 
What did you find? What's that you get there? What did you get? You got wine? How did you get... Oh my gosh, this little freak is useful. If you're a, if you're a wino, that is. <laughs> I just love the lighting in this new version, honestly. Pretty special. Come on, hit me. Hit me. <laughs> he, he knows that if he hits me, his sword will break. Because that's Papa's. Nah, poor guy. He sounds kind of snobby, though, this Sabjorn. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. What's that? Something important to the guild. Oh. Oh, okay, some conspiracy oh, thing. Kowinky dink. And now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. <sighs> That's terrible. Is there anything we can do? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I'd I've hurry. Seen him this angry before. I've never seen him this angry. Oh, don't you know, I've never seen him this angry, Captain. We, we, we don't have more power. <laughs> That's a Star Trek reference, in case you didn't know. Scott T. You know, for, for a second I almost forgot there was a Y. I, I almost thought it was just Scott. I mean, his name is Montgomery Scott Montgomery. How can a humble servant of Talos help you today? Hey, it closed itself. Nice. I love how this lady must always see people coming out of there. And she don't say nothing. <laughs> she doesn't tell the guards or anything. That's nice. It's nice of her. She ain't no snitch. Oh wait, ah jeez, I had some more stuff to be done down there, didn't I? Ah jeez. I just like how it sounds so real, I mean that sound, I mean they got a very accurate sound effect, I'm, I'm something of an expert on sounds myself. Okay. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart oh. indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Maybe we should recruit them. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. How can we make them pay? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. They've made a mistake. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. I I missed that last part. Jeez, I didn't hear Gullum that. Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in solitude. Oh, now he's speaking faster. He acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he finger our buyer. Get out there. Did he just Take say finger our buyer? Oh, jeez, looks like the skill is super kinky. Speak to Brynjolf. You know what? I'm. I might as well. I'm already here. Oh, he's. Geez, you're in the shadows. I should be in the shadows. Don't get me. He's like a personal space, Papa Smurf. Do you know it? I can't believe He's not even looking. He's just looking ahead. His eyes are dead. Don't get me wrong. He could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. I see. Think he'll give me trouble? trouble. <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. Uh -huh. You have your work cut out for you. So how do I get him to talk? 
You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. Ah, jeez. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up And I've been saving up for a house. He's in way over his head. I hope I do. be able to use it as leverage. I hope I can convince him. He's going to owe us. Aye, he does indeed. And with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie. <laughs> it's so much like the British that. Empire. If I'm not being clear enough, that means we don't want him killed. For now, All right. just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. No catch. Huh. How is he an asset? Golemai works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has to pick up the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim shops. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. Okay, that's... I good guess that's good uh, background information. Oops! <laughs> Uh, this is awkward. What did you need? What did you need, pal? Okay, now let's go over. If my geography, you know, it's funny how I remember this geography so well. To be fair, it's not that big of a location. I have not discovered it. Really, I haven't. I'm gonna have to. Wait a second, I could go to the stables. You know what? It's just... Just a long journey. Need Oops. A ride? Oh. Yes, I do. I can take you to any of the whole cap. Where do you want to go? Uh, solitude. Climbing back and we'll be off. Climbing back and we'll be off. What are you, some kind of shady... Matthew McConaughey type. Beautiful old city, capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already. But I'm sure you already. Yes, I already. How do you know? Jeez. <laughs> uh, ah, wonderful weather. Need a ride? He's probably thinking, uh, wait, are you a one-eyed, one-eyed man? I can't even tell. Maybe yes, maybe no. Oh jeez, my poor nice clothes, they're getting wet even though it doesn't look like it's getting wet. It's, it's smurf power baby, smurf power, oh, jeez, he's, he's a big, he's a big chunky boy that puppy smurf. Hey, what you gonna do if I come up here? <laughs> I knew they'd do this. Oh, frick, I can't believe you've done this. Oh, frick. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I, I could only imagine the, their description. Oh, is this, this huge, large well-dressed smurf came and ruined the whole plan. He did? That's right, he did. Oh god, Lydia. Lydia! I wonder, have I technically done any crime? Oh. You know what? I'm gonna have to load a save. Alright, oh, it's... 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 I don't... Position. I really like a front view seat. Well, it's not a seat, technically. You know, I want some blood to get on Papa Smurf's blue face. So he's blue and red. <laughs> I just love how they're okay with this huge Smurf. You betrayed the people of Solitude. There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all lords. Oh, really? Boo. Boo. You know what? Can I even remove the HUD? Let me see. 
just for right now. Can I do that? Uh, actor fade. Uh, that's interesting. Crosshair. Hmm. Oh, I'd like some more subtitles. I miss some things sometimes. On this day, I go to Sovereign Guard. Oh. <laughs> his head. It wasn't as bloody, bloody as I hoped for. Some gate guard you are! And I just took his necklace right off. What a man. Papa Smurfies. <laughs> what a good man. Alright. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say, say. <laughs> well, I think that that just about concludes this episode of... The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition with Papa Smurf. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below, a comment for feedback, and press that subscribe button. Any of those things would really help out, so as always, thank you and goodbye.